Boat 3 was really conceived by the American Magic design team led by Britt Ward and Pete Melvin as the principal hall designers. You know, it has over 70,000 man hours, you know, at the hands of Brandon and the build team in, in Portsmouth, Rhode Island. I mean, it's unbelievable to see what has been created really at the hands of the American Magic team. It's pretty impressive. Here today, we are uh, preparing to roll our new boat out the door. Uh, it's just freshly shrink wrapped and going to head to the airport where we'll meet an Antonov and fly straight to Barcelona. The America's Cup is a race about time. So we've chartered at Antonov 124, big Ukrainian cargo planes to bring it here. The transport doesn't need an engineer like me on board, but I was gonna come to Barcelona at the same time anyway, so I decided to go with it. It was quite a journey, yeah, quite an experience. No, it looks unreal. It's, um, they've done a great job, designers and, and the boat builders, painters. It's, yeah, it's, it's impressive. As, as Doug puts it, it's a piece of art. To actually get the boat into the shed in Barcelona 41 hours after it left the build facility with so many things that could go wrong. Um, it's an amazing moment for the team. We look forward to getting it out on the water. When you look at the trajectory of the boat and how it got here and the execution of that, only build confidence in the team. As you plan one of these programs and one of these campaigns, you have milestones inside of it. Here you have the meeting of a deadline that takes 70,000 man hours. And so to see the enthusiasm that has come over our team with the arrival of really what's the future for us on the water is really exciting. These guys in Rhode Island, they've They've been working hard, you can tell. It's a nice piece. It's looking really good. She's gonna be fast. It's good to see her finally here and ready to start ripping it up. It's 1.27 in the morning and everything after this you're not allowed to see. It feels like Christmas came a little bit late, um, but it feels awesome, like to have the boat now back in the tent and, uh, and getting prepped ready for sailing. It's a, such an exciting part of the campaign where you, you're there looking at it, wondering what it's gonna be like to sail. You've seen all the simulations, you've seen the drawings on the computer, but to see it in real life is uh, it's a special moment. Both is uh, the next uh, winning America's Cup boat. We remove the, the foam as a new TV, <laughs> and ready to go. Exactly what we ordered. Uh -huh. Now it's when the real battle starts. I'm so excited. Yeah, it's it's gonna, gonna go so fast. It's gonna be crazy. So what are you, what are you feeling? Can't wait. Can't wait? Yeah. It's better than we expected. Like we you have high expectations from the boat builders back there and they deliver, man. They make it look good. As far as quality of construction, it's as good as it gets. Everything's come out right as we wanted it to, so yeah, really happy with what we have. There's some features of the boat that we're super proud of and super curious whether the other guys are doing similar. This is the most excited I think I've been about a campaign and a, and a race boat. I'm optimistic about where we're going to stack up rel relative to the rest of the fleet. We definitely are all very impressed with, uh, with what's come out of the, the design tools and, and what we have here as a, a physical boat. Uh, we hope it's going to be quick. From here, we spend basically five weeks fitting out uh, boat three. Early May, we'll have a celebration and a and a cracking of the bottle by Commodore Harrington. You know, we got a long way to go, um, but the shore team will keep chipping along and, and get us into a spot that we can go sailing. Come on aboard.